Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Ignited Steel, a mech turn-based tactical roguelike that we get the opportunity to check out a little bit early, thanks to the devs here, coming out on March 9th. I believe there is a demo you can check out up until release. If you want to try it out for yourself, link at the top of the description there. But again, March 9th, release. And we're playing that version, so I'm quite excited. Soldier, report. Ma'am, it's worse than we thought. Our own machines are turning against us. Not just combat units, but absolutely everything. Anything built in recent years has gone A-wire. So, this is what they meant. Ma'am? We've just received a transmission. This? Huma the Humanixie Corporation has declared martial law. They've used an AI called Pharos to turn our own weapons against us. How are we supposed to fight against them? We are doomed. There's no way to know if this will work, but we have to try. Assemble your men and put the Omega Series mechs back into action. Seems like Pharaoh... Pharaoh-S? Pharaoh's? I'm just going to say Pharaoh's. I know it's... I, I get it, but Pharaoh's can only control automated machines. The uh, Omega Series, however, are manned units. This could be our only hope. But ma'am, they're literally centuries-old junk heaps. And this is precisely why they are our best bet. The decision has been made. This is our last chance. Start project... Ignited steel. A oh, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> feel like there should have been like a scream. But okay. Do you want to play the tutorial? Absolutely. Yes, let's check it out here. Place your units. Left click to place your unit. Okay. I mean, it, it, gotcha, wasp, QE, rotate, zoom in out, easy enough. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so we've deployed our units. I believe that's everything we got here. Sorry about that. Uh, select your units to give them orders, select, deselect, I mean, okay, gotcha. Oh, I was like, okay, this is, seems very simple. Now uh, now I am less, con <laughs> less convinced. Once the back is selected, use the move action to move your unit to a highlighted tile. Every step they take uses heat. All of your actions have a cost in action points. At the bottom of this part of the screen, you can see your remaining AP, which I guess is this. We have 101 action points? I'm so used to, like, three. Uh, at the bottom part of the screen, action points, turn, and your turn plan, which will be executed once you press the execute button. At the beginning of every turn, your AP will be reset. So could we, like, theoretically... Like, I could do that if for some reason that was what I wanted to do. So it wants us to move and then attack. Okay, I love... Oh, I love timeline system combat! Oh, it's fun to see it in a turn-based tactic, like a grid-based turn-based tactics game. Uh, I mean, should we just, like, blitz him? Once you plan your turn, execute it. Okay, then we can move back after. But it does use up heat. Does that... I guess I don't know... Let's just do what it says for now. Oh, we... Here, one moment. Alright. Select your units, give them orders. I mean, okay. Select the attack action. Select the support equipment. Most of your support equipment parts have special uses that can give you a tactical advantage beyond being pure sources of damage. This module in particular allows you to jump over obstacles. Long range jump that, that pushes and damages units adjacent to the landing point. This is like, I know that there's probably already six comments that say this. This is obviously certainly giving me some into the breach vibes, but very different at the same time. But like, you know, turn-based tactics, mechs, uh, a lot of combat that has very push focused. Yeah, very well telegraphed. It's like, it's like Into the Breach taken to an extra uh, tactical RPG layer with extra elements to focus on if you want, instead of being a little bit more puzzle focused. That's my, that's my four minute in read. Let's see if that changes. Jump over the frozen water using the propulsion gauntlet and eliminate the remaining enemy in the level. Cooling. Reduce the heat of this mech by half. So we're going to be over here and then we can go blap. He says he's going to be dead. Oops, I didn't mean to cancel it. 
So we land, we knock him back. Does a little bit of damage, but that's not the main purpose. I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. This is neat. Uh, what do we have here? Don't know anything that's about. Don't know anything that's about. Next. Select a reward. Oh, I love that we have, like, you know, the, the itty-bitty little voxel, like, blown up big there. Napalm Z Flame Launcher. Ejects steel melting plasma in a large cone shaped area, deals minimum damage, but greatly heats all targets. Ah, so heat is not just something that we have to deal with, but something the enemies have to deal with as well. Ah, I wonder how important it's going to be. If the game is called Ignited Steel, I imagine very important. This is the star map. Here, you can modify your equipment by entering the hangar located at the bottom left corner of your HUD. Additionally, you can also select the next destination on your journey on the star map. This is the hangar where you can change the three main modules equipped on each of your mechs, primary, support, and core. Equip yourself with the support equipment obtained as a reward in the previous battle. Bwop, bwop, bwop. So we no longer have the jump, now we have the AoE that heats them up. What's this about? Is this just, is the core just give us raw stats? It kind of seems like our raw stat core, uh, or <laughs> a raw stat thing. Cooling rate, max health, heat damage multiplier. Multiply for the damage dealt and received at maximum heat level. Ah, so, okay. All right. Basic heat generation. This value is added to every module's own heat generation on every attack. Okay, so every attack generates a normal amount of heat, and then we add 15 to all of them. Okay. Ro... Copperdian H. Okay. Oh... What if subset game combined both their games? Uh, there are four types of missions. Eliminate all enemies, reach the extraction point, defend the object. Okay, yeah, defend the objectives, destroy the objectives. Pay close attention to the number of turns remaining to complete a level. Environmental condition, arid, plus 50% heat generated. Ooh. We have only one spot where we can be. This over here really seems to imply we're going to get multiple mechs, which I, I probably would have been able to piece that together already. But I, I think that that is going to be very interesting when that happens, too. Can we knock him into... We don't have to jump anymore. Um, why would we do it? Why would we go for anything but a normal standard kill right now? Is this a shotgun blast, more or less, in the sense that the closer the better? I think it just does a flat amount, no matter where they are in there. Then can we... Then we cool? The cooling action reduces the current heat by half in exchange for a third of the unit's action points. It's the only way out of the overheated stage. I mean, I'm cool with it. We gotta be... Gotta be wary... Of the overheat, I would imagine. As you use your weapons, your mech increases heat level. When it surpasses a certain heat threshold level, it'll start dealing and receiving more damage the more it heats up. I already figured this out. I guess I'm a genius. Uh, or a basic... I've played a lot of games with similar <laughs> mechanics. After the heat level has exceeded a certain threshold, the mech will overheat. On the overheated state, you deal and receive maximum damage from all attacks. So normally they probably exist on a... Is it implying they exist on a low to high... Uh, like dice roll, or is it saying as soon as you're overheated, you're capped out, you're going to take as much as, as you were going to. Uh, you lose a percentage of your current health every time you attack. Ah! Okay. Try and keep your mechs at medium high heat for the extra power, but not overheating. But, I like the concept that we could could go into overheat if we really needed that extra juice. I like that a lot. Populated area, minus 20 health repair after combat. I mean. Deals damage increases heat at the start of each turn. I don't have the jumper, so I don't really want to... Okay, so your heat should go... Oh, you can fire... O oh, okay. You can fire over those. I thought that I was going to be protected by that. Alas, alas. Oh, this sucks, actually. Wait a minute. So what's your movement? You can... Does that imply that you can hit me if I'm there? Or does that... 
is that just how far you can go? How do I... Okay, I want to... I want to stop this. Can I... I, I will say, what would be nice is if I could tab out of this to see that again. But I can't. Seemingly, I can't. Like, do partial and then tab out to see the radius. Like, obviously, I can just remember, but just for quality of life. I've, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you come down to me. Main weapon can increase the enemy's heat level. The higher the heat, the more damage they will receive per attack. Okay, so that was not what they can attack. That was that was just where they can move, and they decided to stop there. The good news is we should be able to... Oh, it's just done there. Should be able to handle this. What is this like? So... What about our standard? Our standard attack is in, yeah, the standard cone shape. So I think we want to do like a move, attack, secondary attack, flip. Oh, he's d dead already. Oh. We're killing these. Does that matter? I don't know if it matters. Sorry, civilians. When an enemy over uh, heat reaches maximum, the enemy overheats. That not only means they will receive max damage, but also turns a the AI haywire causes a special effect that is different on every enemy. Okay. There are many different effects that you can cause by overheating enemies. Make sure you exploit them to your advantage. I like that a lot. There's a lot of mechanics at play here, which to me is like candy. I hover over each enemy to see more information on their overheating effect. He's just I'm guessing that his is he blows up in a circle. 27 turns remaining. So how do we heal ourselves? Like can we? And if not when does it uh Okay, how do I know what your radius is? Seems like so if you can move there I'm going to be safe if I move here, right? I shouldn't be cooling off so much. I know that. Am I safe here? Or is this yet another situation where I'm going to be attacked from a bonkers long range? Ah, uh, they're not coming closer to me. Smart. Are they, they going to just straight up not come over to me until... The good news is we can... Oh, It takes so long! Rude. How much does this take? I don't know that we're going to be able to... We can't move that far and get an attack up. We're going to basically have to just... Dis we're just going to have to move up. Pretty close here. And then, like, cool off. Because then we'll, we'll at least take less damage. It's not going to be much less. But yeah, that, this, that, that's a bummer. But yeah, the AI, unfortunately, is smart. It's smart AI. Okay, this is the least movement we would, would have to do to get a kill. Normal attack. Normal attack. This is... Is this in overheat? Well, that's fine. Is this just... Was that just high heat? Because we... Clearly, we uh, got less heat there. Anywho. Uh, just go for it. Come here. Yeah, we're going to want some kind of big gap closer. I think that jump was actually really nice.
on overheat receives additional damage. Ah. Let's just go for it. It's the final thing here. I mean, it's it's a big damage. Buildings. Okay, so if you destroy buildings, you lose money. Unfortunately, choose a perk. Fimble Winter. Whenever you walk out of a tile, it becomes frozen. Frozen freezing tiles no longer hurt your mech, but they still cool it down. This is like this is a game changing perk. Plus 30% max heat capacity? These are game-changing perks. Self-damage from attacking on overheat reduction. Self-damage from attacking on overheat reduced by 20, 75%. Wow, I took me four times to read that, it feels like. Uh, this is tough. This one's interesting. This one's the most interesting, so I'll go with it. Firemonger. Launches a fireball that deals damage to an area. Range of two? And does an AoE. I mean, it's fun. Probably give it a shot. Congrats, you've completed your first combat mission. Continue exploring the star map to discover new planets. Good deal. I'll try this out. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with the uh, propulsion gauntlet. I actually like that. But I mean, I feel like the propulsion gauntlet and the shotgun together is pretty solid, though. What is the scales thing? Total, oh, the total weight. The AP cost needed to move one tile is equal to your mech's weight. Ah, so that is why, that is why we have the system on a, not, not like a one, two, three moves per turn scale. I like that a lot. I actually greatly prefer that. Turn-based tactics games, frequently have issues with movement being either too powerful or way too weak this seems like that seems like an elegant way to just basically say i don't want to have that problem it, it still could it's still probably there because it, it really is tough but it seems like that is a good answer to it that's that's a good answer to it i'm, I'm excited to see how it plays out though uh, the ship has entered an asteroid field. Asteroid field. The crew can see the remains of a mining station. Although risky, the mechs could try collecting some minerals. Eh. Oh, <laughs> God. Mine, as the ship approaches the mine, an asteroid hits the side of the ship. You abandon the search for safety. Minus 800. Not great. Got a thousand bucks. Cools down the mech until next turn. Are these abilities? They've got to be. Services, contracts. On the following escape mission, avoid more than 800 damage. Wait. Avoid taking more than 800. Is this... This is if we do this, we get 1,000 bucks? Ah, we wait. We spend a thousand bucks, and then on the next fight, don't hit the damage limit. And if you are correct, or not if you're correct, if you're successful, you use ten percent less AP for attack. That's an interesting way of doing that. I kind, I kind of like. It's kind of risky. Balance engine with basic components. Uh, there absolutely needs to be a quick compare here. And I'm not sure that there is. Can I see a quick compare? Like, I should be able to hit shift to bring up my current mech core, I would say. Uh, if there even is a way to check my mech core at all? Th do I have to exit the station? Go to the hangar? In the next combat, you play with three units. Oh, surprise. Remember that you can change the equipment in the hangar. My question is, can we go back to the shop? We can go back to the shop. However, it's, it's not the best way of doing it. Oh, shoot. It's not the best way of doing it to make it so I have to go all the way back here. Go do this. Look at it. And be like, is this correct? That that needs, um, that needs a, a, a fix, 
if there's not a way that I'm... Maybe there is a way, and I'm just missing it. All right. I think we're just good to go here, right? Maybe let's get a quick burst of armor-piercing rounds. Aim, range one. Range one? Okay, single target. Emergency drone heals all an ally and eliminates all negative effects. Instantly overheats. You cannot be used while in overheat. Support engine focus on heat efficiency and cooling over power. Very neat. Last one. Shoots a missile that deals an area of effect damage. Moves your mech in a straight line. Damaging and rooting the enemy it collides with. Damage increases with each tile traversed. Curious. I'm not going to buy anything in the shop. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We're probably going to lose these characters anywho. Minus heat generated. Okay, so we put down our characters. There was the other tutorial box. I missed something. Which one's the healer? They have the same profile picture. I want the AoE one over there and the single, more single target over there. I guess they're both kind of AoE, huh? All right, so we got you still, normal attack. Okay, 6.30, so two should be a kill. And then I think we, wait, is that why? Cause is that why you're saying they move one at a time? Like we go through, we do your turn. We can pick whenever, but then we execute actions. That's why the system's like that, so we can't just do, like, we can't do one move. Am I right? One move. That's... Okay. All right. I can understand why the system is the way it is now with not being able to check the enemy's actions in between. It's a bit of a bummer, but it is the, um, the byproduct of this being... An important integral balance decision, I imagine. Okay, so you have the AoE. Bonk, bonk. I'm just gonna execute. I don't. I don't feel like I don't need to move. We'll need to move at some point there, but. Can we, um... We can. Whoop. Mac has reached the maximum heat in the overheated state. Your attacks have maximum strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try and keep your max alive. Try not to be... Take very little damage when attacking on overheat. If things are looking grim, you take very little damage when attacking on overheat while your health is very low. Good deal. All right, enemy turn. Nothing. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about enemies having, you know, being kind of a little bit on the smarter side is, boy, we do have to, we really have to approach them. Can't reach, can we? That tile we can reach. It's a little I don't think it's that actually that dangerous. I you could probably come down and hit you and like this son of a gun. I don't really care though, that's not that big of a deal. We'll have Oh wait, can we out of range. Can we do maybe um one move? Heal, cool? We can. I know, but also it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Two is a kill there. So I'm going to move ya. Scooch ya. I'm going to cheese it. I'm going to cheese a little bit. I'm going to cheese a little bit. I don't care. Where, where? It's so funny to see the overheat when we know it's going to go in like half of a second. Bap, bap. 
Bop. Boop. Beep. Bop. Bada. Boop. Easy. Three turns. No big deal. No big deal. I'm sure it's going to not get harder than that, right? Of course not. Victory. Gotcha. Very cool. Okay, so then we have... Customize. Assault pilot. Oh. Yes. Is there only three visuals? I think there might only be three visuals. Or three uh, base models. If that's the case, I would love for that to increase over time. So let's have... Oops. Sure. Customize. I do want you. Yes. Mech. Let's put you in... Uh, one that matches your dang hair. Cause I feel like it has to be this one, right? That, that will help me uh, remember. <laughs> I know it's silly, but that will help me remember which one is uh, is her. Let's start with the shock pack. We only have these packs available from the beginning, so we'll have we'll do the same deal. Customize. This is very much this very much looks like a healer to me. this color palette, so we'll go with that. You're our healer. Select, save. Do we get to name you? That would be another thing. I would like to be able to name these. In games like this, I feel like it, it works well to be uh, become attached. I'm actually totally satisfied with this as it... Oh, it's Pyro Pack. Maybe... Maybe not. Alright. And you're what? You're just like the normal shot then. Okay. All right. Send it. That's neat. I love a customization thing like that. Um, destroy all the generators. Eliminate all the enemies. Let's go with this one just because it's different. We haven't done one like this. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to mess around in here. Well, off I go then. So we have to place here. I think we do indeed so boom healer fire all right yeah i like being able to to pick the colors and everything it, it, i know it's silly but it it, it it makes sense right it helps you um helps you quickly tell the difference between the characters and that's in that sense it's not that silly at all are you coming to, do we have to protect these maybe maybe not You're attacking a line. I, I don't know. I don't know where they can move. It seems like they can move anywhere. What the heck? If we moved you all the way up, you wouldn't be able to attack. H how far can we move you up and you still attack? Here is the best we can do. Who's tankier? You have 3,000. You have 5,000. You Okay. Why don't you get up there, but go to a spot where you can probably get away with taking only one hit, I'd imagine. Ooh. It's funny, they felt like they moved faster, but it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> oh. Okay. I see. Ah, this is turned awry. But they're planning on shooting at me. Deals... Okay, the overheat is they deal damage in a circular area. Oops. That's your weapons you got. Moves your mech in a straight line, damaging and ruining the enemies. Wait, what? Ah, okay, so I, I can't pierce enemies? That doesn't make sense. 
Moves your mech in a straight line, damaging and rooting the enemy it collides with. Ah, it's not like run through them and, and root everybody. It's like charge. It's like a warrior charge. Gotcha. That makes a big difference. And then your deal is... I feel like that's going to be a good call. Or... I think we do both. We should move. We should move out. Probably does more damage in the middle, I assume, yeah. Uh, but then you're going to go up. You're going to go for this alternate fire. Maybe less effective than I wanted it to be. Yeah, that's definitely less effective than I wanted it to be. Could I stand still, fire three times? I can, and then overheat. <laughs> Wild stuff. Okay. As long as we don't move, that's a-okay. Then your deal, what is your weapon, really? Yeah, it's not really your jam. But do we bother doing anything else? I don't think we do. I don't I don't know why we would do anything else. We have to go kill the generators. That's right. We're not we don't need to kill things. It was just fun to kill things. Shoot. Aw, oh, beans. Okay, where's the other the other generator is so far away? Okay, so space warper. I gotta, I gotta try something here. At the start of each turn. But we could do something like womp, womp, and we kill that. Okay, actually, you know, let's try this out. How bad is this? Do we take damage? No, we don't. The three, the three eleven heat was damage we were gonna take anyways. We're getting ourselves set up. We killed that thing for next turn. Destroy to it to complete the level. Wait, what? We have to destroy these too. Um. Get the hell out of there. And then heal it. Sorry. Uh, but you might be on your own. No, you're fine. Uh, the little pop-up on cooling definitely should not also cover up the, um, the bar here. Like, if I move it really quickly, I can tell how much remaining there would be. But, like, just for quick access knowing if I could go another space or not. I It definitely... That's another minor thing I would highly suggest for quality of life purposes. I think it makes sense. I'm really liking this so far, though. I really am. Seems like there's a lot of axes for interaction. It, it really does seem like a... Um, a more mechanically complex into the breach, which depending on who you are, that's good or bad. For me, I I love Into the Breach. Like, I think the game is incredible. Like, I think it's a masterpiece, like a 10 out of 10. I think that there's room for another... Uh, it's like... It, it, it's like if it came from the same roots, but it branched off somewhere in the middle, and it went a different route, um, where there's like an elegance lost, but a really heady, strategic um, RPG layer that has been added. And the time, this this time system here is is a completely different thing. It, it's, I'm not, like, I'm trying to say this here, so I'm saying, yes, there's obvious similarities to Into the Breach, but in the sense that it's just a turn-based tactical roguelike with mechs 
Um, that's really where it is and where it lies. But then everything else is pushing itself in, in different directions. And really, it does differentiate itself. I need to make that clear. It really does differentiate itself. The, like, uh, there's a lot of differences. There really is. Um, boy. Do we do this? Do, does, a, does a level... Oh, it, it just ends as soon as we kill both these, right? Just immediately? Wait, who's firing at me? It's, it's you. Boop. Is the level just over? Yeah, it's, that, I was kind of banking on that, but I wanted to act as if it was not the case, just in case. Bounty. Ah, now we actually do get choices. I, I figured as much. I figured that that was just a demo thing, that it was just going to be one or the other. Steel Tractor. Line attack that attracts the target to the mech and deals damage to it. Mmm. Rook class sniper cannon. Range 3. As far as a long range... Howitzers in a straight line. More damage the further the target is. This is a level 2 thing. Range seems so good in this game, but I am going to go with this because it's a higher rank. And it, and it is cooler. It's just cooler. Is it a primary or secondary support? Uh, okay. It was a purple. Who would want that? Um... I think we want to keep this. I guess it would be you, huh? New event unlocked. Oh, okay. All right, I'm with it. Wait. You know, we don't get two, right? You're just, it's just visually, it's just, okay. There's just like a little visual comparison down there too. Understood. Let's go for a straight up kill all enemies vibe. Let's just go for a kill all enemies angle. All right. I don't feel like rotating the camera, but I'm I'm always the kind of guy when I have a turn based tactic. Okay, this actually this angle seems fine too. I have a turn-based tactics struggle. Like I always just get one angle, then I'm like, "This is the correct angle." All right. Uh, so what's this like? Oh, we can pick anywhere on a line, and then we yoink them in. Interesting. Can we yank them into the water? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four. No! Disappointing. That would be so fun, though. Okay. A shame, a crying shame, a crying shame. They're not going to move to us, are they? So that does 600. If I was here, does it do more? No, it does 600 no matter what. A way to speed up your uh, your animations is, would be nice too. Maybe it's maybe it's in here. Enemy turn speed is up. Test. So this must be. Uh, there is a. Uh, I, I gotta make it known. I am obviously as if you watch the beginning of the video. I am obviously playing a pre-release version. There's some things that could change by the time the game is out. 
Uh, some of these things that I mentioned may not be issues by the like by the time the game's out. Not that there's really any big issues I have that I'm noticing right now. I think it's a very very promising game right now. All right. Uh, bleh. you have to be close range. Maybe I do yoink him. Do I yoink him? But then what do I do after that? God, that's really... That's really annoying. The range, the distance is just terrible. And we can only get one shot off there? I think just kind of sucks. Alright, let's just keep... Let's go with that. Let's try and focus down one here. See if we can get them to overheat a little bit while they're in the fire. And then you just like your range sucks. Just don't do anything. Just don't. Just don't, just don't die. We probably don't want to be clumped up too much with these guys. It didn't end up mattering here, but it coulda. Oh my god. Yeah, it's funny. I would rather speed up my actions than the enemies. It's funny that the enemy speed up is there, but not player. All right. Deals damage in a circular area on overheat. I don't think I really need to pull anybody. take an entire turn could we can't possibly attack heal cool no we can't we could probably attack attack uh, we could just attack a million times uh also this is 260 out of yeah no it's not looking too promising there um Do you do a piercing attack? I can't tell if that's a piercing attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know there. It seems it seems nice enough. Um. So then we could just go whop. Can't move out of the way. It's not worth it to yank, I don't think. I think we would rather just spend our turn going for big blast action. And then scoot. Twice. I don't love it, to be clear. And you have the fireball as well. Yeah. I know it's not the most, like, big brain strat right here, but it's just... That gets a lot of enemies out of the way, really, like, at the same time. Um, I guess we want to move. Nope. Move. Heal. Cool. In that order. Yep, because then we can reduce... We gain half as much heat... From, uh, oh god, you are super overheated over here. The good news is it's not going to matter. That looks piercing to me. Screw you. So you always do that. Gotcha. Alright. So we should be doing, like, some kind of crazy, crazy damage. What if we, like, yank? That's interesting. I don't know. I, I should have thought about that a little bit more, but I think that that actually might be pretty good. Because then they're in position to really 
get bodied there, but then your heat is off the charts. I'm fine with that, though. I'm fine with that, though. It's it's very... God, I don't know if I'm fine with it. It's very dangerous. Warning overheat. Yeah. A little bit of an issue. We just got the one... We can move in the way. We probably take damage when we... Well, whatever. I don't like the overheat. This is going to be rough, but we'll, we'll spend turn healing next time, uh, I guess. You're going to... Oh. I was going to say, you're going to go for him, right? How much damage did it do? A more clear visualization of the exact number that it's doing to us would probably be good. Right? Like, am I missing it somewhere? Two ten? There it is. There it is. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I would like to heal. Cool. No, I'd like to move. Heal. Cool. Execute. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, let's see if we can kill. No, of course we can't kill via that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not, it's not too big of a deal. You can, you're not gonna do more than I can heal in one turn, right? I could like go wild there, but I think we do cool. Oh god, that it, it makes a world of difference. It really does. We don't really want to heat them up too much because that's... Oh, that's interesting, too. Because we... They're going to do more damage, too, as well, right? That might not apply to them. I don't know if that applies to them upon uh, looking here. It's just, it says damage received up in the bottom right. It doesn't say anything about damage dealt up. That doesn't mean it's not true, but I'm just going to assume. Hello. Oh, you're a healer. It's fine. Is it just you two? It's just these two left. <laughs> Silly. All right. Can we we can do that? Then we move. <laughs> it's dumb. It's so dumb, but I want to do it. It's so dumb, but I want to do it. It doesn't. All of that effort just to scoot. It it, it makes no sense. It makes none. That's that right there is the reasoning for it. It's not a good one though. It's not even getting any kill. You're invulnerable. Ah, on overheat, protect yourself with a shield. Interesting. Eh. I prefer you to be closer. All right. All right. All right. What do you do when there's nobody to heal? That's kind of what I thought. I thought I thought you may be uh, I'm just going to not do anything kind of guy. Can you not heal yourself? That's the big thing. They cannot heal themselves. That's usually the big trade-off in these games. Yeesh. I'm aware. I'm aware. I guess I don't really need to cool off afterwards with this. Just trying to have a little bit more healing for like a meta reason, you know, after this fight, we want to be healed up a little bit more. So 
so we might as well do it right now when there's really nothing on the line. Bing! What contributes to experience? Damage? Recover an extra 10% health at the end of each mission. Self-damage from attacking on overheat reduced by 75%. I'm doing it. Go, Berserker. Hellfire Alt artillery. Okay. Uh, again. Being able to pull up what my, <laughs> my current ones are would be sick. Maybe there is a button. I'm just hitting, hitting them all. I'm hitting all the buttons. I have like I have no idea. These numbers are so big, and kind of it makes them a little bit more arbitrary feeling. So comparing them mentally, like if, if that's the thing is, if it was like a ten health system or like a you know a ten health system, everything does one damage, you know something like that, it'd be a lot easier to just be like, oh yeah, my thing has ten health. But I'm not like, oh, my thing has uh, 1,875 health. I'm not going to remember that. I don't know. Maybe I will if I play a lot. But, yeah, for getting people in, I think that would be a great change. Extremely long-range light shot that causes minimum damage greatly heats a single target. Can be cast on self. Huh. Hellfire greatly heat target. Maybe we do that instead of the... <sighs> let's take it. Let's take it, and let's put it on Fire Boy. Instead of the Flame Launcher, I think, right? I think that's the play. What you got? What you got? Shotgun, Kelvin railgun, long range electromagnetic cannon, tears through multiple targets in a straight line. Kind of want that for my healer. Let's do it. Let's just, let's just do it. Energy sword unlocked. Ooh. Cell. Cell repair. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that works because I, I do want them to be further back. Unknown. Is this an event? The crew agrees to land at a neutral planet to rest. After a couple hours pass, there's a feeling in the air someone is watching. I lost fifty. What? What? It doesn't even say why. Uh, I will. Uh, even though I would want to do this one, let's go for a, reach the extraction point. Sounds good. It's different, so let's check it out. Okay. It's, 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 it's literally as simple as that. Just get, get them there. Uh. Uh. Oh, come on. Rip. One tile. Okay. This is, uh, that was, that was, this was a weird level. Strange is probably, yeah, definitely the best way I would probably put that. Very strange. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Level over? Maybe, again, I should probably act like it's not. Nope, it is. That's, that's nice and easy. 
So it's just kind of a relaxing little change of pace, except for all of the, the uh, bombs in my face. I, ironically, I lost a lot more health that time than I normally would. Uh, recover extra health at the end of a mission. Bonus max health, heat capacity. Uh, this is my healer. That's another thing. Um, I guess that it's this is a thing that would get solved when we have more portraits. But the fact that they both have the same assault pilot picture is rough for this screen. I I think this is. I'm pretty sure this is my healer. After you walk out of a tile, it starts burning. They no longer hurt. You. Burning tiles no longer hurt your mech, but they still heat you up. More health. Quad laser cannon. Short range laser deals damage in a T shape to multiple targets. Interesting. No one anticipates it. Fire a single burst of armor piercing rounds. So this is just the upgraded version of this. I'm gonna take this because it's a uh, it's a level two. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but unlock for future runs. New pack, the ranged attack pack. Reach the first boss. Yeah, let's go give it a go. Right. Do we want to upgrade any of this stuff? Shoots a missile deals area damage. Do we want this? It's just the upgraded version. It does more damage, generates more heat on them, and it costs less energy than that one. But do, do I want it over the AoE? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, you're going to be kind of like our tank, so I'm going to say yes. All right, let's give it a go here. Let's give it a go here. Last thing. I like it. I like it. I'm with it. Uh, do we want to be clumped? Oh my god, that's sinking health. I think we want to stall is what I what I want to do. I know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I know what I'm doing in a good way. I'm just saying I know what I'm trying to do. We do have a turn limit. That's the only thing that concerns me. Yeah, this these animations take too long. This needs to have a speed up. Or, or even just like an ability to turn it off. Oh. Wait, which one's the... I would assume that you're the... Bad boy that I need to kill, but... No, it's... It, yeah, it is. Okay. Oops. Oop. Shouldn't have moved yet. We'll do that. I know we're gonna stay overheated. That's just fine. I think let's go up in there as far as we can while still being able to reduce that in case we take a hit. Wouldn't mind it. Again, you're our tank. All right. Minus heat generated here. You're terrifying. I just want you out of the way. If I can just single target destroy somebody. What is this like? Okay, could I... I couldn't... I can move on this. I have to. Well, do I have to? I don't think I, I can... I can't do anything with the sniper anyways. I think we... Cool. Goofed.
Okay, so there's no moving through your own units either. Eh. It's gonna be rough. And we're kind of bottlenecked in here as well. That was not the way to go. Oh, no. Gotcha. Oh, you have an... Okay, you have an automatic attack as well. <laughs> yeah, we, we perfectly let, lined that up for them. All right. Move. Heal. You. Cool down. I think that we have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we kill this thing, then we don't have to deal with the AOE shotgun anymore. I'm with it. And then we can overheat this tile. Hopefully all the tiles in this general area. I like that. It's just at half heat. I, it's, this is dangerous. What happens at max heat for you? I need to analyze that as well. That's, that's a pain. A healer! No! Explodes dealing damage to areas... To units in a circular area. Include... include oh! Including yourself. Okay. I like that. That looks like a large amount of damage. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that, I like it, I like it. Okay. I don't know if I'm quite in the range for this. I'm with it. Yeah, that huge, that overheat thing is cracked. I need this guy dead before those other fools get in. He's gonna do the AOE. We're gonna take a couple hits here. Oh! Um. That was a frankly ridiculous amount of damage to happen all of a sudden. Wait, what the hell? I, I, I know he was at 50%, but that attack was insane. Was that... Did, oh, did, did he have a special attack that he does when he... After he cools down from overheating? That might be the case. I mean, it, you know, this sucks. There's nothing I can do now, but... Um, that's very cool, conceptually. I just wish it didn't happen to me at this moment. We are probably dead no matter what happens. Do we have the ability to kill you? We don't have the ability to kill you even if we wanted to. Not that that would really be the correct... Mm, not that would be the correct answer here. I've got nothing I can do, really. wouldn't really be the answer anyway. Yeah, we're just... We're bodied. That that attack was a very, 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 very scary large attack. We could go up here and hope that we can, like, literally just run away. I don't think that there's any way out at this point. Like, I, I'm going to get hit by this, right? I can get one attack off if I do this, but should I even do that? I feel like I should run away as far as possible so that maybe he has to move. Because I imagine... I think that there's no... Like, there's no chance. That, that attack was actually just too ridiculous. I'm not saying it was bad or unbalanced or anything. It was just... um, I just hated it. I just thought it sucked, and I hated it. No, oh, there's no good spot to go. Sacrifice you like a champ. I wish I could snipe the... 
can snipe over a mountain. How much you want to bet I could snipe over the mountain over there? I think we just run and hope. I don't think that there's... I don't think there's any hope. Yeah. That's just an attack he gets to do now. Never mind. That is actually just an attack he gets to do, and then you get across all of that gap. And then all the while while he heals that. Okay, this is a bit stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, uh. Hip hip hooray! I'm ready to die today! You gonna overheat? If we get the boss at like perfect max distance here, please don't attack me. He get it. He can move like eight tiles. He gets healed. He has a big AOE. He has a healing support. He has a shotgun support. He summons more adds. That's busted. Uh, black screen. I saw that we unlocked a new character. I'm gonna. Alt F4 that bad boy and open it back up uh, so we can analyze that. But we are going to be done here. All right. I'm not saying it's broken. I'm just saying it is tough and that's okay. I I like that it's tough. I'm curious. I I, I hope there's not meta progression in, in a meaningful way. Oh, what? Wait, what? No, I, I lost. Thank you. I, I appreciate it, but I lost. I appreciate the offer, but I but I lost. Ignited Steel. Uh, very cool. I would happily play more. A couple things that I would like fixed. Mostly quality of life stuff. Obviously, that bug at the end needs to be fixed as well. Though, you know, obviously, it, it's a bug in my favor, I guess, because I could just start it up again. But, you know, I would... <laughs> I, I, it should just be a fixed bug. How about that? But I'm very excited. I, I think that this could be very, very cool. I, I really like it. I think it's very promising. There's going to be a link in the top description. You can wishlist the game for yourself for when it comes out on the 9th. Otherwise, you can play the demo right now. Well, this video is live. This There will be a demo, I, I hope, still. I don't think it's just part of the Steam Next Fest, but the game comes out on the 9th. So if there's no demo, it's not too far off until you can play it yourself. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. This has been Ignited Steel. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes, and boy, howdy, do I love myself a turn-based tactics roguelike. So check out the channel. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.